Good morning. My name is Jerry Painter. I'm going to talk briefly to you for a few minutes about the basics of blueprint reading. I'm not going to go into real fine detail, but we're going to get an overall picture of what's included and what should be included and organized on blueprints. What I have here with us today is a rather small set of blueprints on a residence and in a larger set of blueprints on a multifamily type project to show you the difference in size, the difference in scale, and everything like that. The blueprints are actually our direction of what to follow to build, okay? And one of the first things that we do with, when we talk about blueprints is we do not assume anything. The blueprints are there to tell us what we're supposed to do and what it's supposed to look like. If it does not do that, then we ask questions, okay? Because this is a legal document, and if we vary and stray from the legal document, we're gonna be held liable for whatever it is we say and we do. And you do not want to make any changes without the authority to do it. So the simple set, is organized rather simply. It's a residence. It has eight pages. And the pages are one through eight. And it includes a floor plan. It includes a foundation plan, wall sections. It includes an electrical plan, a plumbing plan, exterior finish elevations, notes to the structural part of the drawing, and additional HVAC plans and additional details. So the first thing you have to do, even though this is a minimal set of plans, is you have to understand what the plan number is for each thing that's doing, okay? And it should be in order. Typically what happens with blueprints, you get the civil at the beginning, that's the site work. You could get the L drawings, civil would be C, or S, civil or site. You get the landscaping drawings, which would be L. They typically are first in the set of blueprints. All of these could be separate sections, and structural could be next. Typically it is next, but it doesn't have to be. Then you have all your A drawings, which are the architectural. That has your floor plans, all the plans with all the dimensions on it necessary to build the project. After that would come typically the mechanical drawings, there are other types of drawings, finished drawings, uh, finished schedules. It could be in various places, but you'll have the E drawings, which are electrical. You'll have the P drawings, which are plumbing, and you'll have the HVAC drawings, which typically is an M for mechanical. And those would be in line uh, in a larger set of drawings. Now, being masonry work, you would probably start with the structural. Go to the S drawings. Well, this particular small set does not have an S drawing, but it has a foundation plan. And you find the foundation plan, and here it is. It basically has the proper dimensions for the layout of any openings, any structural grouted cells, how they're to be grouted, it could be by notes. Be very careful on blueprints of notes. Structural drawings will typically have notes. And when you get a larger set of structural drawings, such as, as this larger set that I'm looking at, I go over and I find out that over here on S001 is a whole page of notes. You need to understand those notes as they relate to your work, because basically this is what we consider the structural Bible. There'll be stuff in the notes that won't be on the plans. The masonry is generally, we stick generally with the architectural and with the structural. So that's where you need to look at, but as you're building the building, you better keep track of the mechanical because there may not be a situation where someone is there to let you know that there's an electrical outlet or there needs to be a pipe in the wall or for HVAC people, there needs to be a hole in the wall, an opening in the wall so duct can pass through it. You need to be aware of all of those things. One of the biggest things is the site plan. You need, as you're building a building, you need to be aware of the site plan, the civil drawings, as to what the layout is and the of the elevations around the building. So that's just in a brief nutshell of what you're looking at. Get organized in your mind. 
with your structural, your architectural, and the rest of it. It all should be in order, but just because it should be doesn't mean it is. Get familiar with the drawings before you get started. Uh, when you get out there to the job site and you open up the drawings, it's a little bit late to keep your crew working, so you gotta know this ahead of time. Thank you for paying attention today, and maybe you learned just a little bit about the way blueprints are organized. Thank you.